This video is about the new features in Croc Express 2025 Spring Release. The aim is to help existing users understand the latest advances and get some inspiration about how to integrate them into the workflow. If English isn't your first language, subtitles are available. My name is Martin Turner. I've been a Quark Express user since 1995. Quark is still my first choice software for publishing. By the way, this is not a video about why choose Quark over other options, but I will at the end touch on a couple of reasons why, to me, this is the best choice if you earn your living from design or publishing. So, Every so often, an upgrade comes along with what seems like minor changes which make an enormous difference. The spring update for Quark Express 2025 is that. As you'd expect, there are user-requested tweaks for new features that arrived in the previous 2025 fall release. We'll look at those in a moment. But first, four huge things which you might overlook if you just review the feature list. The first one is the font manager. Years ago, we had Suitcase, Font Explorer, and even Type DNA, but they've all run into problems, been withdrawn, or moved to subscription only. Ava from Quark sent me a document to open up. She included the fonts in the folder, but they're not otherwise present on my system. Now, I've put the Downloads folder into my path for where to search for fonts. This is what happens. You don't even see it. It takes a moment. But Quark has seamlessly looked into that folder, found the font, and activated it. But only for Quark Express. This manages a problem that you might or might not have come up against. While well, Quark and other fully 64-bit applications can cope with endless lists of fonts, other applications like FileMaker Pro show only a selection if too many fonts are installed. By the way, that font is a Color V1 font. It's an evolution of the Color font standard. You'll see what appears on screen in print and PDF output, but if you do a digital output, you'll also get gradients, which are part of the Color V1 standard. But there's more. I can now put a set of fonts in a library and activate or deactivate the entire library from the font manager in Quark Express. Just to avoid confusion, these are separate from the font collections introduced in the Quark Express 2025 full release. Libraries activate and deactivate to keep your font list clean. Collections work across all libraries to help you manage brand and project fonts. While we're here, let's talk about Quark font matching. This was a feature introduced earlier in the year for subscription users, but it's now available for perpetual license users with an active maintenance plan. So if you select your font, Quark will produce matching selections from all the online Google fonts. It'll also download them for you and create a set of style sheets. Match with the style groups introduced at the start of the year. This means you can prototype layouts quickly to show to a client. Let's pause for a moment and let that sink in, because these features answer a question that's been hanging over us for years. We can now rapidly prototype a document, show the options to the client, and then send the approved version to them with fonts attached, or if they're Google fonts, ready to be automatically downloaded. Provided the client search path is set up to find them, the document will install the correct fonts for Quark Express, but it won't litter the client's machine with fonts they don't want. When we're done playing, we can turn off whole sets of fonts. If you've been struggling with font managers, as far as Quark is concerned, you can now switch them off permanently because Quark will do all the font management for you. The font matching is part of the new AI features of Quark Express. No matter what you think of AI, you can no longer ignore it. But a lot of creative people are nervous about it. Quark's Quarky or Quarky, now also available for perpetual license users like me with an active maintenance plan, delivers a lot of useful features for Quark users. It doesn't make cheesy pictures. It doesn't generate content that you can get, get you sued afterwards for breach of copyright. But it does useful things primarily to do with text. Let's say I've been sent a document, but I don't know what language it's in. 
I can type the question into Corky and it gives me the answer. Or maybe I want to ask it to remove all the double spaces. Of course, I can do that with find and replace, but it's sometimes easier to explain to Corky what I want rather than figure it out for myself. If you were an Apple user like me, you've probably already played with the tone of voice settings in Apple Intelligence. But what happens when you wanted an anything but English? Oops, not supported by Apple at this time. Corky does proofread an answer about other languages. Using edit with a prompt, you can also ask it to just fix punctuation but leave the text alone. Your text is not, is not suddenly conformed to something prescriptive like, like Grammarly does. Naturally, it's not a free-for-all. You can do many of the same things with ChatGPT until you run up to you have reached your limit, try again tomorrow afternoon. Quark has got an annual limit and you can check how you're doing on this so that you're never left high and dry with a deadline looming. The limits are set very high, basically to discourage it being used for unintended purposes. But if you are heading toward the limit, you can purchase more credit. Let's talk about deadlines for a moment. One of the big new advances is a complete refresh of the story editor, that's Command-8 or Control-8 on a PC. Under the hood improvements at the start of the year meant that it opened much faster. Now it's been upgraded to, if you want, show styles and other features. When you're up against a deadline and the client has gone through a series of changing requirements which has left your head spinning, you often want to have a good look at the text and what has suddenly gone wrong with it. The revamped text editor lets you do that. You can also change the size and style for your own comfort as you go. Another massive deadline-related annoyance is when you've finalised the document, sent it to the client and gone home for the day. When you get home, there's a message waiting for you on whichever of WhatsApp, Signal, X for my Twitter, Apple Messages or SMS that the client thinks will reach you the fastest. Just a couple of changes are needed. Good thing you have your laptop with you, except that when you open up your laptop, which is no longer connected to your 28-inch screen, external keyboard, mousepad and Wacom pen, half the palette seem to be missing and the others are covering the work. It's a pain when switching between monitor setups. You now have a simple restore to defaults, which will get you out of trouble. And also, thinking about deadlines, wouldn't it be great if you could turn text directly into those Gantt charts that the client sends from Microsoft Project and always require extensive reworking to look like something you would ever allow in a publication? Well, look at this. I've got a project plan with tabs in the story editor. Now look at it on the page. This is the new feature of rounded and beveled corners on text shading. It might not sound like much, but this is absolutely my favourite feature because you can do so much with it. Producing text intensive graphics is so much easier. Look at this frequency chart I'm working on for a recording studio. ChatGPT produced the text for me. All I had to do was create the text shading styles and apply them. Incidentally, if you're generating text from ChatGPT or Quarky, it often comes in markdown language. This was already popular in some sectors. It's, it's going to get a lot more popular as time goes on. Quark now covers more markdown features automatically, which you can apply using the style groups. These include italics, bold and lists. Also, and this applies to typing text in as well, you can now use markdown URLs and Quark will correctly interpret them. Just one more thing. Have you been using the quick access bar? It's now been extended with some nice new additional features, including vertical alignment, text inset, special characters, and shape change. You can include as many or as few features as you want. It's contextual, so you'll never see things on the bar which don't apply to what's currently selected. And you can also now specify where it's going to appear. Let's wrap up. Four things for me streamline and improve Cork Express.
The font management means you no longer need a separate program, and neither does your client or any other Quark user you send the document to. The edit with a prompt feature in Quarky moves AI from fun to play with to genuinely useful when time is tight. The revamped story editor is a lifesaver at deadline time or at any other point where you need to focus on the text, not the layout. And the new options on text shading for beveled and rounded ends mean that you can now easily have text-driven graphics, which are easy to work with, easy to edit, and easy to revamp when you need to. The one other question people always ask is, is it stable? Well, the answer is extremely stable. Seriously, this is a stable and useful upgrade. I've already taken it, and I recommend everybody else does. Now, I promised at the beginning to touch on a couple of reasons why I choose Quark Express. These may not apply to you, but the first one is stability. Compared to other software, it rarely goes wrong, though a rogue font or picture can still cause problems. If it does go wrong, it quits elegantly and offers you the version you were working on up to the second that it did. And you can also turn on other backup features. The second one is support. You have to experience this to get how good it is. On one occasion, I reported a bug and they released an upgrade to fix it the same day. The third is, is that this is proven software refined over 21 major releases and yet it still supports documents I was creating right at the start of my career. The fourth is that this is being actively developed based on feedback from users, advances in technology and how the publishing industry is developing. This release is a case in point. We've all been struggling with the gradual collapse of independent font management systems. Quark has met the need. The fifth is that Quark Express is not only complete for all the traditional tasks of publishing, from one-page flyers to major books, but it's the only software that can seamlessly repurpose that content as a flex website. The sixth is that I stay in control. I personally buy a perpetual license and upgrade it, but you can do subscription if you prefer. When I upgrade, my old version stays on my system. I've never yet had to go back to an earlier version, but I can. Finally, and I could go about on about this all day, there's a, a question of trust. Quark doesn't steal my artwork and use it to train AI. It doesn't promise me there will never be an upgrade fee and then charge one anyway. And it doesn't suddenly close down a product and leave me floundering. Over 30 years, that trust is worth a lot.